One of the six goals in the Old Wives Lake Watershed Plan is for habitat diversity to maintain or increase migratory bird and species at risk populations. The Old Wives Lake Watershed has a diversity of important habitats, from creeks and wetlands to healthy riparian areas and floodplains, from cropland, pastureland and native prairie to the large saline lakes, healthy habitats play a critical role in maintaining populations of migratory shorebirds and species at risk. Old Wives Lake has been designated an important bird area, a federal migratory bird sanctuary, and a key site in the Western Hemisphere Shorebird Reserve Network. Old Wives Lake, Chaplin Lake, and Reed Lake are on the flyway used by many migratory shorebirds. The lakes are very shallow with water levels dependent on the amount of rainfall and spring runoff generated throughout the watershed. The fluctuating water levels provide excellent breeding and rearing habitats over the summer. Shorebirds have pointed wings, pointed bills, and long legs. No webbed feet here. During the spring migration, over half of the world's population of sanderlings is thought to stop at Chaplin Lake and Old Wives Lake before continuing to the Arctic. The American Avocet is one of the larger shorebirds found on Old Wives Lake during the summer. Its bright, rusty orange neck and head are easily spotted bobbing for insects and brine shrimp. Piping plovers sport a tan back, white belly, and a single blackish band around the neck and across the forehead. A piping plover's bright, orangish-yellow legs carry it quickly across the beaches where it nests. In Canada, the term species at risk include extirpated, endangered or threatened species and species of special concern. It is widely accepted that the single greatest factor responsible for the endangerment of a species is habitat loss and degradation. Healthy habitats play a critical role in maintaining species at risk. 19 species at risk have been documented in the Old Wives Lake watershed. Some of the more commonly known ones include burrowing owls make their homes in old mammal burrows over the summer. Loggerhead shrikes are also known as the butcher bird as they hang insects, snakes and mice on thorny bushes or barbed wire fences. Northern leopard frogs get their names from the brown or green dark spots surrounded by lighter borders on their backs and sides. Monarch butterflies are a species of concern. They rely primarily on milkweed and secondly on wildflowers for survival. Species at risk is a term not exclusive to animals but can also include plants. Over 50 additional rare plants are found in the Old Wives Lake watershed. Gumbo evening primrose and tumble grass are just a few. Many species at risk and rare plant species are found at home on native prairie. While most of the land in the Old Wives Lake watershed is used for cropland, 26% of the land still remains in native prairie grasslands. Native grasslands are one of the most threatened ecosystems in the world. Threats to native grasslands include invasive species encroachment, cultivation for annual crops, and invasion of tree species. Many things can be done to support migratory birds and species at risk. Recycle wastes instead of placing them in or near water. Avoid using insecticides when possible. Steer clear of shorelines with all-terrain vehicles because they are important nesting and rearing areas. Time haying to allow upland birds to hatch before hay is cut. Implement grazing management strategies to promote biodiversity and healthy grasslands. Participate in organized bird counts to assist with research and monitoring. When the residents and landowners in the Old Wives Lake watershed can maintain healthy, functioning habitats, the food, water, shelter and space for migratory shorebirds, species at risk and rare species is provided. To find out more about migratory shorebirds and species at risk in the Old Wives Lake watershed, visit the Old Wives Watershed Association website, www.oldwiveswatershed.com.